Okay, so what are the steps for the paired t-test? Well, first off, we need to verify that we have paired data and we compute the differences between the two groups. So that's paired data is when you have a natural correspondence between two groups. Um, they have something in common that enables them, you're able to match up the two, uh, the two sets. We'll start the, we'll state the hypotheses using mu diff or the differences of the paired means. So either the paired means are equal to zero or the average of the paired means is not equal to zero. Uh, from there, we'll check the independence and normality conditions uh, for the differences. So we want to make sure that we have at least, uh, well, things are done randomly, random selection, a random assignment. And we also want to make sure that we have at least a sample size of 30 or there's no real outliers. Standard error is essentially the same. You know, standard deviation over the square root of n. That is the standard deviation over the square root of the sample size. And by this, I mean the standard deviation of the differences. And that'll be the standard error of the differences. From there, we calculate the test statistic, point estimate minus null value for standard error. Um, since the null value is zero, it's really the point estimate, you know, the average of the differences divided by the standard error of the differences. From there, we'd calculate the, the two-tailed p-value using you know, number of pairs minus one as the degrees of freedom. Uh, if you're using the tcdf command, that's the tcdf will enter the absolute value of the test statistic. So if it's negative, drop the negative to 999, then the degrees of freedom, then times two. From there, we compute the p-value to the significance level, which that's usually 0 0.05, and if it does, if the problem doesn't say otherwise, assume that's 0 0.05. And we make a conclusion. If the p-value is less than the significance level, then we should be considered enough evidence to reject the null hypothesis. That is, there is enough evidence to go with the alternative. If the p-value is greater than equal to the significance level, then this would be considered insufficient evidence to go with the alternative. That is, if the p-value is greater than equal to uh, the whatever 0 0.05, then random chances uh, makes the null hypothesis plausible. 